Prepare yourself for a sprawling discussion on just about anything, where critical thinking meets pop culture in a collision of mind-bending proportions. Please secure all neurons and prepare for full frontal cortex. It's time for Incoherent Ramblings. Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of Incoherent Ramblings. That was still. <laughs> yeah. I'm your host, Joey Shamble, but everybody else is used to that now, so no one got <laughs> was, scared. Who's going to tell me about Kiefer Sutherland's future? They're, they're just on their phones. Bam. I was try, trying to be all sneaky. They're just like, yeah, whatever, Joey. I, sh- I, I was shocked a little bit. This is Joey Shamble, your host. We've also got Paul Hottinger, Kale Anderson, and Daryl George. It was Paul's. Um, and he's whipping us. Okay. Yes. Stop whipping me. We only have a minute. We're back to our time limits for the pre-ramble. So uh, today we're doing random ramblings, which is Paul's choice. Good job, Paul. Oh, thank you. Because he never gets to be in the random ramblings because we just do it when he's not yeah, here. Thanks, guys. So we're going to do the pre-ramble. Uh, and, uh, and whose choice is it for next time? This is me. It's yours, right? Yeah. yeah. So that'll be at the end. All right. Okay, we're going to do the pre-ramble song. Did you already say show at IamRambling.com? Oh, show at IamRambling.com. That's our email. <laughs> and our, our uh, uh, sponsor your today is a KFC bucket, because that's what we're picking out of. <laughs> it's time for the Free Ramble! Free Ramble! Free Ramble! Free Ramble! Whip it! Whip it really good for the Free Ramble! Hey, 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 take care of the less time you have. Damn it, that's right. That's not fair. I got less time. All right, I'll reset you. Bam, it's a gift from me to... Oh, my God. A gift from me to you. Okay, I don't know if you guys have heard this. One minute from now. I don't know if you guys have heard of this before, but it's something that I found uh, entertaining, which is uh, you can buy a fresh whole rabbit on Amazon. Wow. And it's dead, but it's fresh. But I, I, it's one of those... Wow. How could it not be fresh and not alive? See, that's what some dead. of the reviews are about. I'm just going to read one review, which I thought was pretty good. Uh, like many suburban homeowners, I like to kill and eat the wild animals that populate my backyard. To keep it sporting, I hunt naked with my teeth and long, sharpened fingernails as my only weapons. I feasted on squirrel, raccoon, vole, and a numerous songbirds. But no matter how long I lay spread eagle in the motionless hot <laughs> noonday sun, I have never been able to outwit and catch the plump, juicy rabbits that hop just outside my reach. <laughs> I bolt for the woods when I leap for them with a blood-curdling shriek. I've chased yeah, them at a dead doctor? run through the yard <laughs> uh, of many unoccupied homes that surround me, but the pursuit always ends in frustration. But no more, thanks to Amazon. Every week I order a fresh rabbit and affix it to a remote control car that is operated by one of my children. Okay, right. moving on. Hey, hey, wait. We're, we and that was. Start. Wait, that was. Fonzo. No, that's but this Joey. day in sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, resetting for Paul. Okay, do your thing. All right, this is. No, no, no. Yeah, do Go. Word of the week. I wish I could make the bell go ding, 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 ding. But, uh, all right, today's yeah. word of the week, courtesy of, of course, Urban Dictionary, because it has all the good stuff, is airplane bath. Oh, oh no. <laughs> See, before we were making bath. guesses, like, what it could... I, I, I don't... I, you, know, you just want to know? Uh, okay, know, it has no, to do with urine. It has to do with urine. We it has to do with... Has to do with urine. Airplane. And oh, that's what it is. It's you stand in front of a prop plane and you pee into the oh, prop. Oh, into the fan. Into a fan. Into a fan. Into a fan. Right, right. It's a 70s rock band that will later be known as uh, <laughs> Starship. Starship. It is. It's sorry. not sexual. I'm sorry. But oh, it's a quick, it's a quick perverse. method of cleaning by taking a wet washcloth under each wing. And the oh. tail. I knew that! The armpits and the crotch. That was a word of the day for Urban Dictionary a few weeks oh, ago. Oh, was it? I totally knew yeah. that! Okay, that was inaccurate. I, call, I, call I, the, could, I could I, have won. I call the same thing pits and tits. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go. Tail. Right. Wait, what about it? It's tits? <laughs> it's not accurate. Like go, said, tail, go, 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 go! Tick, tock, tock, tock. Tick, Whatever. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Anyway. <laughs> Today, went online, it was the largest solar plant in the Mojave Desert. There's three of them, and they are generating, there are three 459-foot towers, and they are generating huge megawatts of power. One point two one kilowatts! Oh my God, not that much! No, it's it's, uh, 392 (laughs) megawatts, and uh, it'll provide... (laughs) Energy for 140,000 homes. That's a Marty, lot we can't go until the wind reaches 88 miles per hour. <laughs> wait, I thought it was solar. No. Oh, wait, sorry. Is it actually is it plugged into the grid? 
Yeah, it's that's As what, he makes. It went yes. <laughs> <laughs> it went online. Gestures. That's uh, why it was cool because it went online. Oh, today. went online. Gotcha. And you can actually. This is one of the things we want to go and oh, have a, a tour of. <laughs> okay, Daryl's ask thing never did work out, so he's got a new section. What's it called, Daryl? It's called Daryl gets sciency. Or science, like science, science, science. No, no, it was. Uh, oh. Damn it, I forgot himself. already. It was uh, science. Daryl plays like, with himself. Blinded science, by a smoke. No, no, it smells like science. Oh, it smells like, like science. Okay, yeah. with Daryl, Daryl. All right. So, um, <laughs> Osiris Rex. Bing. He's going to send messages <laughs> to Benny. <laughs> All right, I'm going to kind of read this since I can't beat the copy that's already on their website, but travel to Bennu on the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft. NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission and the Planetary Society invite you to submit your name and are for a round-trip ride to Ooh. asteroid Bennu. Your name will hitch a ride to the asteroid, spend 500 days there, and return in the sample return capsule to Earth in Wait, 2020. Wait, my name? Your name? With your name. Yeah. yeah. Your oh, name. I thought it was me! Oh, I know, huh? <laughs> That's like... a switcheroo right there, right? <laughs> That sounds so, like a good scam. Yeah, it went over there. We did it. Yeah. And here's your you name know. back. Here's your name you know, back. It went all away. After. We'll link, okay, we'll link to the website. There's a form where you can submit your name. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today is going to be random ramblings. Like I said, KFC, uh, KFC is our uh, <laughs> is our uh, bucket. As you guys know from the last one, we had a little problem because it was the first time we were using our... Oh, uh, we have more than just a <laughs> yeah. We had a problem every time. Yeah, uh, we I were can't using... even remember the name of my section. <laughs> 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 It smelled like something. <laughs> oh, it smelled like something before the podcast. Yeah, that's what it smelled like. That's why we true. came up with it. Uh, anyway, so uh, we huh? are... Kale has this time printed out our submissions, which we made over the internet. Instead of trying to find them on the freaking computer... Yes. We actually have... Oh, that's going to be an edit job. I'm we will have... Yeah, now. good luck with that. Mm. Or you've already done it, according to this, but... You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> right. right. Months ago. We have three minutes for each one today, so I will pick one out, read it quickly. And then uh, is this part of the three minutes, or we wait for a ding? No, no this is a one minute intro. One minute okay. intro, which is intro. too long anyway. We're Woo. introing ourselves. Intro. Okay. So we intro. have a total of twenty subjects. Today. Yeah. So and each uh, one of us has an extend and a pass. Yes. Yes. Which we can use to either pass or extend. <laughs> 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 I'm here. Yay. All right, here's the host us. Here we go. First one is your favorite position, but Daryl. <laughs> Daryl, oh, right. favorite position, uh, sitting down is pretty good. CEO. Yeah, CEO. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 oh, look, we're all making different yeah. jokes. Here. You mean uh, sexual? You know, make it what you want it to be. I want it to be sexual. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> all right. So, what is your favorite uh, I like, sexual position? I like a uh, uh, cowgirl. But not me being oh, a cowgirl. Cow girl. Reverse cowgirl. Reverse cowgirl. Wait, 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 how can so you the, be a Wait, cow I don't know if it's reverse. Cowgirl's facing you. Facing me is what I like. Okay. I don't know if they have an actual name for it. Both cowgirls. But I, I, like, I can look it up if you but want. Yeah, <laughs> you can look it up, Paul. But what it is is yeah. that... It's called a, I like the Cincinnati leg, bow tie. Her leg between <laughs> my notes. leg and I'm having sex so that I'm rubbing my balls on her thigh and it feels This fantastic. is very descriptive. Um, that's, you know, the, uh, that's the Arcadia ball rub. There you go. That's it. That's uh, the new one right there. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was going to call it the Mojave Air Ride. It's surprising <laughs> we were so close there. But anyway, um, Doggy's always good because you can, you know, leave your laptop on top of there. <laughs> You can watch, ah, check your Twitter you feed. <laughs> yeah, but that's a back top. Oh that. my god. Um, anyway, I, I, I can I read my comic Joey, books. Like, well, you see, I'm I'm pretty visual, so like the cowgirl thing is definitely nice, and uh-huh. reverse is nice, but not as good of a view. So yeah, I, I yeah. yeah yeah yeah. All right now, Very, yeah. that's, now what else could Daryl possibly mean by this besides sexual positions? Positions like uh, parking in front. I like to be in the uh, position of uh, great authority. Great authority. Respect my position of authority. What about I do submission? Like, I do like uh, reclined. Uh, reclined. Yeah. Oh, hammock. No, hammock no, no, position. No, no, no. Hammock. Banana hammock. I, I am a big fan of reclining because I, I sit swings? in a recliner like most of the day. Actually. Recliner's nice. Yeah. In the park. Legs over shoulder. Ah. Oh, right. legs over. There you go. That's a good position. Leg over shoulders. Oh, we're back to sex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Back to Cheryl, or uh, Kale was putting his legs over his shoulder. I'm like, you're How about very an- flexible. Ankles to ears. <laughs> so, so when, le- when Kale's legs, carrying me, <laughs> I can put my legs over your shoulder if you want me to ride. <laughs> well, you can ride on his shoulders, but do you want to ride so you're facing him or away from? Did this thing not? Okay. <laughs> do you want to watch? You, you want to watch this horrible thing or not? <laughs> no, you want to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> 
don't give it away. For give today's away. theatrical presentation, <laughs> it's an exact reenactment oh by God. Paul and Kale of the human centipede. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, nice. You. Oh, Joey, we need a third partner. <laughs> no, we don't. No, we don't. Leave Joe. it to the French to develop, to think up something so <laughs> disgusting, you know. <laughs> the French? And it's and the French. It's a French movie. They also did that corn where there was, was, was a... was a Japanese. The guy got... No, Japanese. Uh, a, uh, Stop. I think you are right. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Okay, next yeah. one is Kale's. If you could be someone else, living or dead, who would it be and why? Oh. Uh, hmm. We usually, living or dead? Like... They'd be alive though during their time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you're, you're alive. You're Bob. dead and you're them. <laughs> Gee, I wish I were Abraham Lincoln. Then I'm like in a. <laughs> you're all like buried. decomposed, and buried yeah. and crap. But would you be a vampire hunter? That's Maybe. Well, this is nonfiction um, though, right? Let's say. Or is this no, fiction? it's it's well actually yeah I was like thinking real, real person. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like Neil Armstrong. I like to go to the moon. Mm, that's oh, that's yeah, a good that's, one. That's, that's, oh, yeah. Who would I like to be? Um, Just for that experience, I don't know about his rest I wouldn't of want life, to go, though. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go too far back in the past, <laughs> though. Anyone who doesn't save themselves is a big fat loser. You know what? Uh, uh, I'm kidding. Uh, so. That 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 would be bad because mine is Prince. Prince. I would okay. love if I couldn't be me. I would want to be Prince. Well, then right. you'd have a better look on. Uh, E-music. Dude, we have like yeah. <laughs> we have so many followers right now. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> um, I probably want to be Richard Branson because I'd have a lot of money and be going to space. Yeah, yeah. there you go. That's a good one. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, I like where you guys are going with the going to space bit. That's pretty nice. Um, hey, if I was Prince, I could afford to pay to go to space. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> true. You know, I I guess my answer, even though it might be a little generic, is um, Albert Einstein. Because I was that would have been my dead one. This, like that's not, that's one of the ones. That's one of the ones that do that dead guy. Wait, that's not the question. Go ahead, Daryl. No, what like, dead guy would big, you do? That's a big go-to when people ask, like, who would you want to interview or whatever, you know, dead or alive. Um, like, but the thing is, like, or could you ask one question to somebody? But being who him. Me? But like actually being him, it means that you would probably have the best fundamental fundamental. Uh, hey, understanding of special relativity and everything of anyone who ever lived. I mean, maybe some people notice he didn't. It at his he didn't level, say Stephen Hawking. You know, you know when yeah, I talk like that. No, I don't. I don't <laughs> want to be Stephen Hawking. No, I actually shame on you. Well, you were thinking that if I would have go somewhere, else, someone who's who's not alive, probably Albert Einstein. I mean, being yeah. able to see what he saw and understand what he did is just pretty freaking amazing. So. Yes, yeah, or or maybe um, as a secondary to that, uh, Richard Feynman. Because also the yeah. thing is, he got all the babes too. So the thing is, like you could be and a he nerd could play the bongos. and a player. So it's like the best of and players. a bongo player. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's true because uh, he's the one who. Did that whole talk about there's plenty of room at the bottom and came up with the idea of nanotechnology. So mm -hmm. that would be a pretty cool one. Yeah. So the, I basically, I think my main thing is I would want to be someone who's a lot smarter than me because then I would oh. understand things better. That'd be cool. John Holmes. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, he dinged up. All right. There we go. All right. Daryl from Daryl. What is your favorite food dish, fast food? Food slash food dish. Or fast food. Ooh. Fast food dish. Okay. We, do you want a sub? Uh, do you want a sub? Do you want a sub? Sub. Sure. Sub. 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 Okay, we're that was sub kind of That was kind of boring. Right. Okay. What? Uh, name your favorite wrestler and why they kick ass! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's right. We saved this for uh, Paul. So, Paul, you go first. Current or old school? Uh, let's anybody. Let's, Dude, anybody. Anybody. Most favorite anybody. wrestler. Anybody. Uh, right now, I would say, like, looking back, I really liked Rowdy Roddy Piper. Yeah. Because hey. he was, like, the ultimate bad guy. I actually know guy. who that is. <laughs> but, but his, like, he was so funny. Yeah. Like he could wrestle and stuff, but it's just his, the smack he would talk. Yeah. And, and That's related to my choice up. because he also acted. He acted too, yeah. and they live, yeah. Yeah. What's yours, Daryl? Uh, Andre the Giant. Oh, so, yeah. you stole my <laughs> Simply, I mean, the main reason is because he was in The Princess Bride. But <laughs> yeah. they, you know. But well, the thing is, like, not he's only. So freaking huge, and I yeah. actually saw him in the Hawaiian airport once. He was massive. Yeah, is that's. I mean, he has something on Urban Dictionary. Yes, <laughs> <No. laughs> the Hawaiian airport. <laughs> I don't want to look that no, up. No, no, no. Do yeah. not Google that. No, that wasn't the right one. It's the Hawaiian donkey punch. Oh, no. oh wait, what? Oh. 
Oh, uh, so Andre the Giant. He's got the physique. He also seemed like he was a really gentle guy. Like, you know, he was... A lot of the Unless wrestling and stuff was... he was tossing people out of the ring. Well, no, I, I've, I've seen some, some uh, he did documentaries gently. on him, and yeah. he was really... He was really kind to everybody. Exactly. Like, even, like, with Hulk Hogan, he saw where wrestling was going and passed the torch on to him. He yeah, saw where yeah. his popularity was going, and he allowed... And went with the whole, you take the belt and all that. Who, who was stuff. it that, that actually lifted Andre the Giant up? It was at, Hulk Hogan. Was it Hulk? That was a big thing. Oh my was God, that was amazing. It was like, I can't believe he's doing he that. He kind of did. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> sort of did, yeah. the thing I don't like about Andre the Giant, though, I mean, as great as he was in Princess Bride, when I first saw that when I was in seventh grade, I couldn't understand what the hell he was saying. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Remember the penis? Yeah. Um, my favorite <laughs> wrestler, flush, Paul. Do you flush. remember? I don't think he said penis in the pack. Peanut. Oh, um, <laughs> penis. Oh, hacksaw Jim hacksaw Duggan. Hacksaw Jim yes. Duggan. What yes. the two by four? I liked him in the past, but I have to say overall, Hulk Hogan. Yes. Well, if he took seeing that him one. in like all the things he's done and yeah. he's crazy, now he's got a sex tape. It's awesome. I have what? to say, Grave Digger. You don't know about the Hulk Hogan sex tape? It's oh, Hulk Hogan. I thought you were meant Hacksaw Jim Duggan. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I've seen Hacksaw Jim Duggan. I don't want to see that. I've seen his two by four. And it's, yeah. I bet at the, no, very, right, yeah, I, I, I bet the yeah. very beginning of the tape, he rips off his shirt and goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen it, but it's apparently pretty bad. <laughs> oh, damn it. Kale. No, no. No, he had Andre the Giant. Okay, okay. Cool. Okay. And Somebody uh, is shared. Now. Okay, here right. we go. Okay. Sorry. Hey, what the using hell? early signals from the moon. <laughs> using early 1940s, 1950s speak. Oh, no. Pretend you're a group of men sitting around in a men's club discussing the new <laughs> women's right movement. 1940s, 50s, Let's, 50s. Well, no, okay. look at 40s. like from stop right. worrying, start living type. Okay, thing. okay. Well, see here, everybody. This new women's lib stuff. I don't think it's no sir, no good, no sir. Them dolls don't belong. <laughs> In everywhere, what it's a business off. What do we have, black man? What, 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 what is all going to do? I don't belong here either. <laughs> Sorry, massa. No, my wife. My oh, wife was trying to get a job, and I Wait, said to myself, I said, "Look here, Joseph Robert Chamel. <laughs> now, don't you go doing letting your wife do none of that. No, sir. No, sir. Pull you. What was that? Pull up by your bootstraps and do it yes. yourself. Do it yourself." That's why you have a wife, is because she does it for you. Yeah, in more ways than one. Yeah, back in my floor, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> why, do, why are we so angry? Because <laughs> we're in a men's club, and we don't want oh the women taking over the, the world. I, I do declare <laughs> that these them bitches... <laughs> Wait, that's a, that's Shut a, up and give me a mint julep. Oh, uh, yeah. now, now you listen here, everybody. Oh, I've got to say, excuse me, excuse me, that's Mr. 20, Mr. Darrell, <laughs> Mr. Darrell, what that, do you think 20, about this? Yeah, 22 well, skidoo or something? <laughs> 23, 23 skidoo. Well, we're talking 20s now. Yeah. All right. I don't know. All, yeah. all those women, they're all flappers. <laughs> yeah. Especially when they run in slow motion. Right. Quick! <laughs> 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 to Germany! <laughs> I hope you get in the war. Good. <laughs> Back to Hitler again. Yes, yeah, yeah, we have to get that in there, thanks. Well, uh, golly. <laughs> <laughs> Gee whiz you know, they, they can't see you. They can't see you putting your I'm finger. pointing at my fist! <laughs> Where's Fonzie? <laughs> Where's Ponzi? Ponzi! <laughs> see here, Paul Hunter! <laughs> now you, you don't go saying, no, sir! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that is oh the most outspoken amongst us. <laughs> well, it's because it was his <laughs> thing. <laughs> it's been my thing forever. Oh, okay, right. little, since we started reading, don't stop worrying. Been, look here, Mister. I couldn't can't remember the other look. phrases. Yeah, um, uh, not yeah. doing so well with this right now. Uh, you know, it's the um, whipper stamper. No, um, no. manure. The, I hate the, manure. Wait, Daniel, remember we said Daniel I told Carnegie? you that uh, if you looked at uh, the little rascals, the little rascals. get all that oh, language right, right, right. in there. Golly the gee, Willikers! <laughs> well, there's the the whole like, <laughs> look, look here, woman, you better behave, or I'll take you outside and show you what's really like, <laughs> <laughs> and show you what's what. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know. Hey, I still say that. <laughs> it sound like it's Truman over, Paul. You don't have. It's like from the Jeffersons. <laughs> okay, it's from Kale. Who is your favorite Harry Potter character? Who is your least favorite, and why? <laughs> Pass. <laughs> hey, uh, well, I've only, okay, I've only read Just the go. first book Just and go. seen the first four movies, so my favorite is Dumbledore. 
I like Dumbledore. Dumbledore's good care. Good I know choice. he eats it. I know he eats it. But do you have somebody you don't like? Uh, By the way, you guys take a little longer because I don't have one. Go. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's because I haven't watched or read any of them. It's, so I can't I believe know. that. That's just, I, I really. That's actually, antisocial. I man. don't Are you know an American. Who, I don't know who Dumbledore is. For Christ's <laughs> sake, he's like know? the Obi Wan of uh, or the Gandalf of. Well, that's uh, cool. We don't need another Obi Wan. Oh. Well, except for he died, but yeah. yeah. Look, <laughs> the uh, Harry Potter series is very good. You should read it. Yeah, the yeah, movies are eh. Says that. The books that. are good. They start off yeah. slow because they're lore. Okay, uh, my uh, favorite character would have to be. Oh, gee whiz, Wilker. Wow, that's a great character name. I never knew there was <laughs> one of those. I don't know. I like Dumbledore a lot too. Honestly, <laughs> he's really an awesome character. <laughs> Um, yeah, he, really, he, he gave when his ears chances. Flat? He was like how you would hope, like a principal or you know, a yeah. of school. You guys know he's gay yeah. in real life. No, no, no. There's no Dumbledore in real life. <laughs> <laughs> no. What? <It's> <laughs> no. Oh my god. Uh, J.K. Rowling released information because she's got so much right, information right. on all the characters. Dumbledore's gay. Did he try to touch he, Harry? He's no. He's not a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> he's oh, gay, I, I, but he had a I thing for Grindelwald. Yeah, not, Grindelwald. He's not pedophiles. Let me Grindelwald? clarify that. Grindelwald. Grindelwald. Is that his name? Grindelwald. I don't know. The, the guy he was partnered up with when he was young. Dude, that helped right. him find the the thing. big guy with the beard. He was doing him. Not that was his Hagrid. Bear. Hagrid. <laughs> that was his bear. No wonder he liked Hagrid. <laughs> <laughs> I kept him around. Oh Hagrid, I didn't right. see your dragon. You're hiding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! What God. about you, Cal? Yeah, I I really really liked the character of Dobby. Dobby was awesome. Dobby, yeah, that, yeah that um, awesome. Dobby character. Gillis. Who is Dobby? Is that the Jar Jar Binks guy? Kind no. of. Well, Dobby was the house elf. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, well, every house should have an elf. Every house should have an elf. See, if you'd read the books, you'd know that's wrong, Daryl. Yeah. They should be free! Well, no, only Dobby thinks that. The other house elves are perfectly fine with, <laughs> with who they are. You know what? I have to say, hey, wait, I really like, like Harry the Potter. Last subject. Yeah. I do like Harry Potter. What? It's like housewives. You know, like there's a rebellious one that wants to be free, but the rest now see here, Daryl. <laughs> <Chores. laughs> uh, All right, go on. I don't really like uh, Malf- Malfoy. 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 I didn't really. I'm trying to think. I. Characters I didn't care for. Luna. Ron was Love whiny. good. Oh. Yeah. All right, next one. Come up with name. Oh, this is mine. Come up with names of Disney movies that were shelved because they were just wrong. <laughs> Song of the South. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, That's a real one, but I mean, oh. like, try and make up one. Okay, I got one. Okay. Lady in the Strumpet. <laughs> <laughs> Lady in the Bitch? No, 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 wait, wait. Lady in the hole. Little hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> Little he- Beauty and the bestiality. <laughs> oh, That's yeah. what I'm looking for. There he is. That uh, let's see. The uh, little sperm maid. Oh my god. Oh, yes. oh, <laughs> Daryl, man. Little sperm maid. What does she do? <laughs> 101 damn Haitians. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Whoa. You can't play that one in our team. Whoa. <laughs> And don't get a wow, wow. <laughs> hey, no, like, yeah, I'm gonna steal from I'm gonna steal from David Letterman here, but that f-ing cat. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> what was it? Blubber, but like flubber, 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 Oh, Flucker's not a bad word. I can say, fuck you. Uh, let's see. Uh, what are some other really popular Herbie ones? Herbie the Bugger Lover. <laughs> Herbie Goes Gay. Pirates of Carrie's Bean. Herbie Went Gay. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Pirates with Carrie's Bean. <laughs> Carrie's Bean. Oh, Bean. oh wow. Uh, the Butt Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> That's that. We should have thought of that one a long time yeah, ago. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, also, the... Uh, Davy Crockett and his grizzly bear. <laughs> Puff the magic dildo. <laughs> Where does he live by? <laughs> Lives by, by the sword. sword. By the, dies by the can sword. We include, by can the we include Pixar movies in this? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, sex toy story. <laughs> uh, um, Finding Clemo. <laughs> <laughs> toy Story three way. <laughs> <laughs> toy Story three way. <laughs> uh... Let's see. Oh, Instead of cars. To infinity yeah. and beyond. Instead of cars. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry. Yeah. Countries. I meant countries. Yes. Uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> what else is Pixar? Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> Bali. <laughs> <laughs> From the other week. Right? Instead of up, down. Sleeping with beauty. Uh, uh, <laughs> sleeping with beauty. Nice. Sleeping with herpes. <laughs> no, sleeping herpes. <laughs> Alice in Underwearland. <laughs> Snow White and the Seven Little Sex Starved Men. <laughs> That was kind of what it was. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the the fox and the pussy. <laughs> hey, what did the pussy say? Robin's hood. <laughs> oh, Robin. oh. Okay, I'm sure we missed something obvious. Oh, yeah, sure. no. Yeah. Right, people are gonna write. Okay, it's oh, more no, serious. Is mine again? The advantages and disadvantages of living full time in virtual space. We hit on this uh, a, bit, a couple yeah. weeks ago. So well, being a battery for somebody is kind yeah. Of that cool. would that would well <laughs> yeah. that might not. Suck. No, I think that would be a negative. I Honestly, oh, okay. keep, well, no. Keep in mind, it, it, you know, compared to the real world, the Matrix was actually pretty comfortable. So yeah, if yeah you, I, you could understand why that guy wanted to go, go back, back in. in. Yeah, exactly. Because he wanted it was steak. a better life. He wanted steak. I think of that scene all the time where he's just like, yeah. you know, I know this steak is is just impulses in my brain. Um, but oh man, that's yeah. not how it went. Why? Why? Why not? And then the next being scene, given such a wonderful world. Like, I know this pussy is just. Oh, never mind. Okay, <laughs> off topic. <laughs> so um, the thing is, what, what we kind of got on last time was was well, what if everybody with the what's the th- new virtual helmet or thing called Oculus Rift. Oculus. The Oculus Rift. The people trying to say it's they, they, it's so amazing they want to stay in there, and this is right. just simple stuff. So when it becomes really advanced, what if people just want to stay in there? And when cor- we tap. Computers directly into the pleasure centers of our mind. Yeah. It'll be like but how a heroin s- hit without the. Fo- how would you down. survive though? No, but yeah. see, survive. I disagree. I disagree with the heroin hit thing. I don't think it's gonna be like that because I think people want more than just happiness. They want purpose. They want uh, experience. Some people do. Well, okay, some people do. Obviously, I don't. we'll see. The problem is <laughs> if, if, if we actually do what Daryl was saying, actually into the pleasure center, then. Like we uh, looked at that study where somebody was pushing, they didn't, they didn't enjoy like it, it, right? But they kept doing it because mm-hmm. it's addictive, and that's I think that would happen to some people. But and but that's what I'm saying is the reason I brought this up is because we didn't really get into it. But the the, the idea is if the virtual reality became as real as reality, but better, and our lives could automatically be sustained outside of the virtual reality, would that be so bad? No. Imagine a fuller it, life it, within the virtual world. You know what's going to be screwed up, though, when um, virtual reality gets that good? Is when you're out of virtual reality, you're going to start questioning things. Like, did mm-hmm. that really happen? Did this really oh, happen? Oh, like you... You know, like sometimes when you have really vivid dreams, you do but that's, occasionally get a little yeah. crossover but that's, there. But it'll be like that, but maybe but, a hundredfold worse. Where but, sometimes you don't even know. Well, but that's the whole no, point of what I'm saying. No, there'll be no uh, difference. Between but that's the exactly yeah. what I'm saying. It's so real that it is real. Yeah. It's reality, especially yeah. if you're interacting with real people, then there is no difference. I mean... The, but then how would you... How would the human race continue? Machines. Oh, so you're saying this is a total, like, Matrix style. Mm-hmm. We get to a point where they're taking... They're feeding us. Mm-hmm. They're, well, the thing is, like, post-singularity, <laughs> the guess is that there's going to be radical abundance. You know, like... Uh, nanotech and everything else will just be able to like take care of us. So, so it would be no problem. Yeah. Why not? And, and, so they'll go and in that's the whole thing. Sperm. Well, then you come to the whole idea of that might be what's happening now. Back to the Matrix. Dun, dun, dun. On that note. Okay, this is Paul. Oh, that's no. a long one. Jesus. It's going to take three <laughs> minutes to read it. Would you, <laughs> we need three minutes. Just hold All on. Right. All right. Would you rather <laughs> oh. wake up naked and sore without any memory of the night before next to Burger King yes. telling you you had it your way, or wake up naked next to Ronald McDonald telling you that you were loving it? <laughs> oh, uh, the first one, definitely. I don't that, know. Would you let that, 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 the, the second one that sounds more, with, t- more of a tender the, moment. That dude with the crown and the beard, he kind of turns me on, so I would go Does with that. Just staring like, at you? Like a guy he just wake up and he's just... It's like a guy fox mask. <laughs> Looking yeah. at you? I, I'm good with and that. And you're like, there's freaking like Whopper sauce everywhere and stuff. <laughs> if, that, if that dude had Whoa. breasts, I'd be all over it. Hey, oh like, my. like, what happened? He's just like... <laughs> he just nods, he can't tell you. <laughs> By the way, everything I've said thus far in this section is totally fiction. Just, I mean, at least yeah, one of my dogs wakes up. I wonder like, why, you had the, why you had the need to say that. I know. You wake up and one of the I need to be analyzed. What can I say? <laughs> No, I think there's something repressed there. <laughs> okay, I think, I think, okay, Paul's the one who came up with this question. Yeah. Let's not forget that. Uh, so, 
Ronald like McDonald. Special sauce. Just Ronald saying. scares me, man. I don't want to be anywhere he near is, him when there's sex. His mouth involved. works, though. His mouth does How do you work. know that? Because the commercial <laughs> talks. You know, he hasn't been on a commercial. Like my, I want to see pictures crotch, of that. But, you know. <laughs> I don't know. He's wow. too clown-like. Yeah, that's yeah, it. He's it's scary. Off, just, yeah, no, wait, are we yeah. talking that you're with the Burger King, the guy that Daryl was talking yeah, about? Yeah, the Burger King yeah. guy. He's really freaky, though. You know, by the way, he this doesn't is, talk. This yeah. is like, do you still beat your wife kind of question. I mean, seriously. <laughs> yeah. What was that called? <laughs> Back oh, yeah. There, what was the um, term for that? Yeah, I, uh, I there's no, right it's now. either, it's a... Uh, it's bad or no, bad. Win, it's a yeah. no win question. No win, yeah. Right, right. So, uh, but if if but if, if it really to, came down to it, I would be a whopper because it's my kind. Yeah. I'd have to go Burger King guy because the Ronald McDonald because the Burger King guy is almost like a Disneyland character in a way. Yeah. So I, I can almost feel safe. Since with there him. could be a cute girl under that mask. For right. Him, Good oh, call, true. girl. Oh, okay. Ronald McDonald's just a pedophile. Hopefully, I've never hopefully seen it's the Wendy's girl. Have you ever seen wild? the the female Ronald McDonald though? It's kind of oh yeah, that's I have seen that. I was looking up some show notes. I saw the female Ronald well, maybe by the it. way Wendy's girl totally hot totally a bitch I hate her in those commercials both Kim and I oh my god I got Wendy's oh look I got Wendy's you got crap what are you gonna do about it she's not that bad but she's like <laughs> she's, she's a ginger well that's I'd wake what, up and say, that, fire that's crotch. what duct tape is for uh, I, every commercial <laughs> what was that ball herpes <laughs> ball herpes yeah that's Kevin and Bean oh okay. <laughs> Fire oh my goodness. Stink me even. Okay, so your choice. Okay, uh, next up, uh, this is from Daryl. Hey. What's your favorite incoherent ramblings panelist? Oh, who? <laughs> <laughs> what? Pass. See, this is another one of those trick questions, right? You uh, can't win. Who's your friend? I like the host a lot. Yeah, he's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. I, I like, win! I like Paul. Dude. I like well, Paul. I like Paul. Yeah, I like, I like Paul too. <laughs> I like Joe. I would say, like, <laughs> Ralph! Ralph! Ralph. <laughs> All right, is that a pass? I think that was a pass. Yeah. I'll pass. I'll pass. All right. <laughs> Going. Trying to turn us yeah, against each was, other. Yeah. What he's trying to do a, is turn us against each other so he can take... Ha, ha, no, no, so he can take over the podcast. Oh, yeah. Daryl's podcast! <laughs> okay, well, Kale. I'm going to cry yeah. because nobody said me. Ooh, this is a good one. Uh, okay, Daryl. Yeah. Not you. <laughs> 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 I thought it was the stinkiest. Okay, this is Kale's. <laughs> Would you be willing to upload your consciousness? Great question. To where well, obviously, I, up, upload is it to the on computers or online. Mac? Okay, <laughs> does it matter if, if it's, it's a okay, Mac? I have, or some, Unix? I have some. I have some caveats, but I will okay. do it as long as first of all, technology has to be enough to completely replicate my brain at that at the moment of upload. Well, good right. luck with that. Okay. We're talking like a thousand years in the future or whatever, okay? When it's possible. When it's possible. We're right, saying fine. when it's so possible. So that's the first thing. is It has to completely be able to upload my brain. Yeah. Secondly, it has to happen uh, over a, maybe not slow, but over a certain amount of time so I don't notice the change. Ah. Okay, so maybe right. I could go to sleep and wake up, but I think I'd prefer Whoa. it to happen while I'm awake. Is that part of the... The process, like, you not only do you upload your consciousness, but you have to kill your body afterwards? Well, no, that's... No, 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 but, have, like, no, but this is what I'm getting to. First of all, it has to upload my consciousness. Oh, wait, upload. You're saying like a backup. Yeah. That's no. What, that's the way I took it. No, I'm saying upload your consciousness. Meaning Into machine. You, you die can, and your consciousness. No, there's no, 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 many no, no. possibilities. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Okay, what I'm going with is okay. upload into something. Because I have a goal. So you would continue living. So I continue living. My yeah, exactly. brain doesn't. It would have to be like my body replaces itself every seven years and I don't notice I'm in a new body. It'd have to be something like that where I feel the continuousness of it from one to the other. And the last thing is there cannot be anything left behind. My main I thing wouldn't mind that, a, a new body every seven years. Well, yeah, that's No, but I mean, and knowing it. It's right. like, you know, it's like for this seven years, you're like this buffed What's out, like, yeah. But I, and that, like, yeah, you know, I got a cool vet, you know, but and I'm then, like, you trade it in, and you got some, but like, we, no, we do that, simoleon, we do that already, it's just copies of what we've already got, every seven because years, because our like, like, totally different, though, material replaces yeah, but, but, but it's, but we're of the same, right, I'm but, talking about a totally different, but that uh, would be right. fine, but I'm saying, like, okay, I get what you're saying, well, well like a new car, my, my, new car. I have the brain, I don't want a new brain, I have two criteria for this, yeah, the first criteria is that, I need to be guaranteed that just because I'm uploaded and backed up that I'm not going to be destroyed. Right. And the second guarantee, the second guarantee. Stop making me up. So use carbonite. Is I would want to know. <laughs> I would want to know what the rights would be of my digital self. 
Because I, I would not want my digital self to come into existence if I knew that it didn't have certain. You need to human read rights. my short story, okay. <laughs> the digital afterlife, because I I address that. Awesome. But the thing is, like, oh, so this if, is if a whole we're in a society where, like, you know, <laughs> no, actually, I've never even thought about that. But now that I have, but I would consider that to be total cruelty if I allowed this other version of myself to come into existence and know that they could pull the plug on it, erase it, or do whatever. <laughs> You're that killing. I want to you. extend because I, yeah, I right, have extend. to say mine. All right. Yep. Extend. Um, the way I look at it is that a point where I can upload my consciousness online, and then I can go around and do all the stuff, and then I come back and reintegrate with my mind Ooh. so that I can have both. And like when you but said, but assuming, nothing has to be left behind. I agree with that. I think you and I made different assumptions because you're assuming that your sense of self and continuity is going to travel with the upload. And well, so, I'm assuming that that won't happen. I'm assuming that a backup is going to be made of me on a computer mm -hmm. and I'm going to have, I'm going to have my continuity of self and that thing is going to have its continuity. It's going to feel like that thing is going to feel like it existed in my body up to the point it got uploaded. Then it exists on that computer. But I think that like my... If you want to do it. My sense of continuity is not changed at all just because someone copied me on right. my computer. Well, see, the thing is, is that you wouldn't know what that... What I think it would be exciting about that is that you wouldn't know what that se that other self is doing until it comes back and integrates. When it okay. integrates with you, then you, you gain so it. We are so talking how about does, the same thing then. Yeah. Okay, okay, so you're so, saying you want to be able to absorb its memories after well, we merge. it has its... Ex okay. But, so, right. but if you upload it, interesting. The, so you're saying that when you upload your consciousness, it'll be doing something? Yeah. It'll be it'll be going. I mean, so you're not like doing it. a Windows restore when you download this back. <laughs> no, like, no. no. Yeah. You're like making. I'm back to 2011. Well, that's <laughs> another good criteria because it doesn't what happen. Right. <laughs> like yeah, that's the thing. Like if it were just like a backup of my consciousness and it weren't running, I wouldn't care so much about the rights of it. Right, right. It's that's, just a data set. It depends on. Point. But know. if it's allowed to live inside of the computer. Then that's when I care about what rights it has. Sure, it should have the same rights. What if you I don't have. like yourself? Like, what if uh, I upload my consciousness and then I, yeah, starting tomorrow, I turned out, I turn out, I'm killing everybody. I'm a murderer. And then two years from now, we merge back together, and this uploaded consciousness can't believe what my other consciousness did, and the two consciousses cannot combine. Oh. That sounds like a good book. That's a good book. That's, that's, I was thinking the same that. thing. That's awesome. <laughs> Take it, Kale. All right. <laughs> nice. That's really good. Nicely done. Now, I, I was thinking more along the lines of uh, writing a short story where uh, we, we send a robot to Mars, and your consciousness is there. You yeah. go on that whole mission, you do everything, and then you come back and you integrate with and yourself. Like you've, and you've been, now you've been to Mars. It's and such an awesome idea because hmm. the Mars person will be wondering what's going on at home. And that's oh, the real crap, you. Kill. And then the real you that's will be like, what happened to Mars? travel. Because you can't physically travel right. that fast, but your oh. consciousness can travel. Yeah, that's, there you that's go. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, I, like that. I thought about a short that's story cool. about that. So oh. The thing is, everything has to be like travel ahead of you. But once you're right. like the 10,000th generation after, you know, machines of ours. Yeah, it's very cool. System. Yeah. Right. Right. I'm glad we extend that. Cool. Okay. Cool. Possible ways that Santa could actually deliver presents on Christmas Eve if he existed. Stopping time. <laughs> Who, who's is that? That's mine. Oh, oh, sorry, that's mine. I've always oh. been, and the reason is because I've always been interested. Because I like it. With, I've always been interested with the concept that what if Santa could be real and realistically at least deliver presents in some capacity in the. I in like the your explanation from Cheesemus. He stops time, and he probably spends about five thousand years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's going to every yeah. house. Yeah. You know? Because yeah, you do the math, and that's what it ends up being. But right. actually, if you do the math. You break down, you know, 7 billion people in the world, you know, how many are kids, how many are believe in Christmas or celebrate, you still end up with a lot, but... Right. No wonder why, like, well, what, I, what, I thought would be, away. what I thought would be an interesting way for Santa to do that would be that for every person that needs Santa, Santa is there as individuals. Kind of like what we were just talking mm. about. Right. You go out... He separates he himself. He separates to everybody... And then comes back, so he can spend so as much time on everything. Santa so Santa. at every local post office, there's a little Santa body sitting there, and his mind just occupies it on Christmas Eve. 
And no, no, no. It goes around and oh, goes, Santa's bills. Let's deliver presents. No, no, no. I think what Kale's saying is like. Santa works no. there. It's, it's like, like a, 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 a dimensional thing. thing. It's like a, a, a dimensional thing. Like It's it's right. in the point where, where Santa is a multidimensional creature where he has the ability to te- technologically duplicate himself. Like we were talking about before with the. It's like for ev- and, it, for and he just appears. Number. He appears in the house, gives the presents, and right. then merges back with his, himself. And he can right. do all in one minute. So that that's the thing is, right. is it, or he can spend all night on for everybody. Yeah. It's all, all night, night on one person, <laughs> right? All, all night, night long right. with Santa. Mrs. Like, Claus is like, "There's a hundred million Santas." Yeah. Let's look at, let's look at the important Santa thing, every night. Yeah. The important thing is how Spread does he eat all those cookies and drink all that milk? How? What? <laughs> how? how? I have no idea. What I think he does the save by like the bell. Zach Morris. Time out. <laughs> He eats more women's cookies every. I didn't think you were going there. What about you, what about using technology or possibly slightly future technology from what's available today that we can consider? He's just a time traveler. He's a, he's a, so he can not who. only freeze time, but he came from the future and uses all this tech. Or what if he? Well, use, that, but that's what Do- I'm No, he's Doctor Ho. Doctor Ho. <laughs> <laughs> what, what if he uses mind Dr. control Ho. for all the parents? Oh, that's We're good. actually. That's we're, good, I like that. We don't believe in Sam, oh, but we're he, actually doing his work. Oh, it takes over yeah. him. Oh, that's sinister. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like, in the old days he did it, he's now like, he's just like... like he's like, he's like Santa, Professor X. Is he yeah. an evil he's in Santa? He's Santa like, enters your body and you're like, I must hover over the children's bed for all this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, knows when you're asleep. He's exactly. watching. He's watching you. When you second. masturbate. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a kitten dies. <laughs> it's from Paul. Every Would you rather? Wait, I know Daryl's answer this. Dies. Would you rather live in Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter world? Oh, jeez. That's easy. <laughs> here. I think, I Lord think of I'd, the Rings. I think I'd, I'd actually go Harry Potter. I yeah. like Lord of the Rings better. But it's I, it's a whole it, bathroom situation. Yeah, you know, it's like it's like that's old time. I don't want to live where there's like no technology and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but there's magic. Crusty. Yeah, but you, but you got crusty butthole. Okay, the magic is like fairly <laughs> crusty useless. butthole, the and the magic is difficult. And there's elves. There's yeah. all the strife. The Harry Potter world is kind of fun, and it's you can learn magic very easily, and it does lots of stuff. Very easily. I'd want to pick yeah. the elvish area though with those elvish girls. Yeah. yeah they well, were okay. Out. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> if out. I could visit, here's here's mine. If I could visit Lord of the Rings, if I had to live there, Harry Potter. Oh, okay. okay. I could right. I could see that, but I still would go to Lord of the Rings. Even though I I'm not well versed in the Harry Potter stuff, I am actually kind of thinking. Well versed, you you have zero. You said zero. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's not, not well. Dumbledore. Dumbledore. Shut up. is he can pick up a little bit about what he's like. Not specially. And the thing is, like, even even being. <laughs> ignorance about Harry Potter, <laughs> I would probably choose it. Because I know that they have like a real world that's like modern world. Real then, world like, Lord of the Rings! Magic is kind of hidden and everything, yeah, so yeah. like it's more normal. It's more what I'm used to. But then it would be culture shock going to Lord of the Rings. Plus you have like evil invading the land every so many years. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. So, and then, but the other th- aspect it of it is lively. could I choose who I can be? Because like if I could be an elf and live for like 500 years. Yeah, that's like, true. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of neat. But. but it's like, you know, like but even back to the magic, even Gandalf, he's this really powerful wizard and he can't really and, like, do too much. He's like, no. oh, I can make a bright light. Thou Ooh. shall not pass. We're well, a I make a rock. Maybe, maybe the I'll... The sun take you. He used the sun. For most of his magic, maybe I'll movies. catch some pine cones on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if only I had a lighter from the future. Pine cones are fire. <laughs> yeah. So, well, what's kind of cool is even the Harry Potter world. They they kind of don't know technology either. So that's kind of you kind of get that yeah. fun thing in there too. But at least it's available. Yeah. Yeah, they can go back to the. the I think I'd make a better flying car though. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. that's kind of lame flying car. That's pretty lame flying car. <laughs> well, they weren't. They weren't. Chamber seat his least favorite. That's right, you know, that's right. Like, aren't both, he was just grabbing what he could. He stole that off some. Yeah. <laughs> aren't both <laughs> universes like uh, a reimagining of British culture anyway? So they're both pretty related in a lot of ways. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Just, it's just one is more agrarian, yeah. uh, like 19th century, yeah. 18th yeah, actually, century. Yeah, actually, yeah, it is. Okay, Daryl, what genres do you gravitate toward in movies, novels, and TV? Yeah. Um, Mine's sci-fi. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. Sorry! Um, <laughs> for me, Damn, all right! You guys probably could have guessed this for me. Uh, it's I love def- stories. Definitely, no, no. it's um, porn. <laughs> no, just kidding. I mean, yes, not kidding, but... Wait, is porn a genre? Yeah. It is. It is. Oh, no. Is that the video? It is at the video store. Sci-fi, fantasy, and for movies especially, comedy adventure. Because yeah. adventure by itself is fun to watch sometimes, but if I was going to be in a movie, comedy adventure, because it's a lot safer. <laughs> yeah. I definitely would say sci-fi, but uh, if... Lately, I've been really enjoying the the uh, Dresden Files books, and Detective. so they are because it's it's a new category. It's called urban fantasy, oh. and uh, where it's modern times, but they have magic, sort of like Harry oh, Potter. Cool. But it's and he's actually named Harry. It's a cool Harry. Oh, a cool <laughs> wizard! Harry. Maybe I should really get to. No, I so love I, Harry Potter too. But my, my answer to this is a lot like yours. You know, sci-fi fantasy. Um, I like comedies too. Usually not the, like, really, like, gross-out comedies, but, like, more thoughtful comedies, like, where you have to think about the jokes a bit more. Uh, and like, then, the comedy in Firefly is really good. Right. Yeah. And then, like, especially I like genre benders, like, stuff that combines yeah. things together. But I, I say, like, my favorite kind of comedy would be, like, uh, satire and, um, and to an extent, uh, what, what's the word for it when they... Gender bending? No, 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 not, <laughs> no, that's back, back to the porn. porn. Now. <laughs> um, no, uh, parody, I guess. Uh, parody and satire. Oh, it. right. Yeah. Okay. So, like, but I think a lot of the modern parodies have gotten a little like they're they're just trying to like do gross out jokes instead of like yeah. the actual like smart yeah. parody of mm-hmm. things. Like what Where, Weird Al used to do. Like I kind of think of like or Big, still my favorite actually. movie, Big Trouble in Little China. It's a really smart parody of an action yeah. thriller. Yeah. yeah. It really is good. And then, but I've tried to branch out, and the thing is, I guess, like, the thing I can say if is I like... they only make more of those. <laughs> well, I like almost all genres. Like the era, though. Except for yeah, horror. The time. Really? Like, horror is, like, the one genre I never really get into mm-hmm. that much, with the, maybe the exception of, like, The Walking Dead is pretty dark. You might... Like, that's we talk, I've talked but about... That's more, that's more drama. I like... It uh, is. You see, it's yeah. more... It's another it, it, bender, because yeah, it's more it's drama than it is just on the zombies. Horror. It's, it's well, I like the werewolf ones the most when it comes to horror. Like vampires are okay, but yeah. werewolves for some reason I really the howling. The, even though it's kind of cheesy, the original howling movie is yeah. really. It was for especially for its time. The werewolves were amazing. American yeah. Werewolf in London. <laughs> yeah. Funny. Uh, <laughs> oh, nice. Wow. Wow. Do you want Joey's to magic Harry Potter finger? <laughs> Does anyone want to extend? Um, no. No. That one doesn't have legs to go another... No. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, had, I had more to say, yeah. but... Mm. Yeah, well, okay. Okay. Sorry. Daryl, would you rather fight 100 dick-sized... Duck! Duck! <laughs> Duck! <laughs> oh, man. How many dicks? What? <laughs> Hope That's Asian. awesome. Hope it's Asian. <laughs> okay, let me read it as I would have read it, then I'll read the real one. Oh, as I would have accidentally read it. <laughs> would you rather... Would you rather fight 100 dick-sized horses or one horse-sized dick? <laughs> Read it again. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's a tough choice. That's... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what it actually says is, would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? But I think we should answer the other one. <laughs> why, do we, why do we have to fight dicks? <laughs> the image of a hundred dick-sized horses. No, wait. Horse-sized dicks, like, flying at me. That's no, freaking one, scary. That's only one horse No, no, no. Ah! <laughs> wait. Dick size. Wait, not. We're getting confused now. A hundred dick sized horses. <laughs> That's a step on it. Are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was wrong. I was picturing a hundred dorks. Oh god. We're going to have to extend this. <laughs> It eats you alive. <laughs> I was picturing oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, your horse dicks attack you. Um, <laughs> by, by the way. Severed. It's okay. Like, it's inclusive of all. And flying. Okay, have any of you guys heard this question before? No. No. Okay, this is a Reddit question. When, when they do an ask me anything, no matter who it is, they always ask them this question. Okay? Okay, so let's actually try to... <laughs> 
I, when I realized where this was going, I couldn't stop laughing. I, I was just thinking of one horse-sized dick. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, oh, so it hurts, it hurts. okay, so the real Batman. question though: Would you rather fight one hundred <laughs> duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? Oh man. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I'd go for the one horse-sized <laughs> duck. Yeah. No, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd go. Uh, that. I'd go the other way. Why? <laughs> I can step on them. <laughs> but yeah, they're, but they're, they're like duck big. sized. They're, like they're kind of yeah. hundred of them. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, <I'm gonna> say, <laughs> they're not dick sized. Okay. Now, now, duck. now, now the hundred flying dick horses are going <laughs> <laughs> as they're coming at me. Okay, there's the image for the link on the screen. <laughs> I'm standing. It's okay. I'm standing. Oh my god. We need to actually answer it. Uh, I would you, probably. You Let's see, how would it look? A horse sized oh, duck. But I have to fight it, right? I can't run away. Uh, that's you have the, to fight which it. do you want to fight? Yeah. It's like his damn question. Okay. <laughs> which which <laughs> Which icon well, would you rather say. Than if it was getting away. <laughs> if it was getting away. At the time go then. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> if it was trying to get away, I'd say the horse sized duck, but uh I if I got to that duck. <laughs> dyke? Horse sized dyke? That horse -sized dyke. <laughs> That's scary. Right? That's some scary shit right there. Alright, we gotta keep it moving. Come uh, on. Uh, um, hey, big boy, come to me. Duck sized horses. If it was that, oh, I could right. use a riding lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm That's kind cool. of on pause. Well, they, they, they could probably jump kind of high. So but I need an encasing. Well, I, but horses aren't well. known for jumping except for in steeplechase. <laughs> yeah. See, but I can yeah, separate that. They can jump that. their own height, maybe. Well, I like so. one of those things that uh, get the wheat, that spin and, and cut all the wheat. In the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay, just... here's the thing. You ever seen those uh, videos of, like, the, the goose attacking someone? Okay. They're, like, freaking insane, and they're only so big. Yeah, exactly. A horse-sized one would probably kick your ass. It would bite off, it would be able to bite off <laughs> yeah. your arms. Yeah, so I'd go with the duck-sized... Horses, a hundred of them. Also, I can separate them. I could do like strategies to figure them out. Kill. Shut up. No, I said kick uh, him in the face. Yeah, okay, so, okay I, my answer I could get you. I would go for the duck size or the horse sized duck, and the reason why is that I yep. typically don't. I typically don't think of horses as being that ferocious, but you're right; they can mess you up. <clears throat> but the thing is, like these little horses, I think they would just pummel the hell out of you, and it's hard to manage with a hundred of them. Uh, yeah. And they also probably okay. have a speed advantage, so I think like you could evade a giant duck a lot easier than you could evade little tiny horses. And part of my reasoning comes from if you've ever seen like a cat go completely ape shit when it's like stressed out and trying to kill everyone, like just one animal of that size alone can be a handful. Then you got like a hundred of them all angry at you. But you know, with the duck, the the horse-sized duck, all you would have to do is lure them into like Monterey Park. Or like hosting oh, the heist and freaking right. everybody. Oh, duck! <laughs> Meat cleaver. It'd be like dead in Dude, he just has some fries. Throw Disneyland. Never mind. <laughs> um, I would, but I also say this. Think about like you didn't say they're attacking me. I saw my picture is I'm in an. Hey, which one would you rather fight? Right, I'm in an arena and I have to fight them. Horses yeah. don't aren't aggressive. Ducks can be more aggressive. So there's the hundred horses. They're just sitting around. They're like trying to eat some grass. You just, you just come over and start killing them. What weapons do you learning. get too? Yeah. Well, but no you know? matter what it is, it's yeah. the same thing. I don't think horses would attack. No, they would. And it's not saying they would attack. I think a duck well, has the capability of attacking. Attack, they'll attack. When they'll, I was they'll, a they'll... kid, we raised ducks, and if you, they can definitely be uh, very. I've been chased by before. I know. Okay, this right. is our on the spot uh, voice of woman question. All right. Oh, dude. <laughs> <clears throat> Linda asks, necrophilia or bestiality? Which is work? Which would you like to do? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he said that. Yeah. Why do we have all these like <laughs> trap questions tonight? Well, I just uh, gotta uh. say that if it's necrophilia, it's kind of like I, I was talking to Kale earlier about doing the hottest girl in the world, but she's dead. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because once once rigor mortis it and starts to decay. Oh man, it's gotta be stinky actually, down there. I actually have the answer to this question. <laughs> I think it is a. Sewer. This is from Bill Handel. He says it every Halloween. Necromancy. Or no, not necromancy. <laughs> necrophilia, the victimless crime. Hey, there you go. <laughs> it is. It is. And it is a victimless crime. If you're an animal rights activist, yeah. you don't. Bestiality. Feel, right. You, but necrophilia is. Yeah, victim. but a horse would love to f a woman. Although you might be, you, the, you might be the victim. You know this? We're not a woman. <laughs> 
It will go up our butt. I don't know this. <laughs> okay, if it was if it was bestiality, what animal would you do? Where's my duct gotta tape? Pick something. <laughs> well, he would probably do a, uh, you know, duck-sized horse. Okay, you're taking this question to levels you don't have to go to. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, so, uh, well, how many horse sticks were there again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, but I, honestly, that the necrophilia is victimless. I mean, maybe you'll piss off, and Bill Handel does a thing on this every year at Halloween, and he has a very, you know, because he's the lawyer on the radio, right. he has a very convincing argument. That it is, even though you you know the the relatives might not like it, it's still victimless. Well, what but is, but I, what it what is would a body would the body become your property? So then, are you like? It's more like having sex with a car. Well, what what was so that, it's the, vandalism. It's more like vandalism. Alice yeah. Cooper song called "Cold Alice" or something, where he talks about having sex with a dead body. Probably. Where he says he, he pull her out of the go. freezer. Okay, why do you know all this stuff? So this is one of the things like how fresh is the body? <laughs> you know, like, well, at least, it's, like at least way, the chip's only like half a chromosome off. Or you like, know what though? Six, in any case, what I have to one, say two. is always practice safe necrophilia and safe bestiality. Okay, once again, once again, the question Where? was not what I said. It was not what would you prefer. It was what's worse. Yeah, what's worse? Because what if you're like the dogging your dead yeah, body and the freaking butt hurt. falls off? It, <laughs> I think part of that speaks to us being sick too because you know if yeah. you believe in someone's uh, yeah. spirit leaving the body or that there's still a connection between their you might be plugging the up their exit yeah like <laughs> so, a, lot of cult, a lot of cultures <laughs> um, <laughs> two wow <laughs> but a lot of cultures <laughs> really <laughs> revere <laughs> a dead person's body <laughs> the light. No, I think we're, the light. we're of the mindset that once you're dead Where's you don't the need to Light. Anymore, Where's so. the light? They're at the pearly gates, like, dude, what's all over your face? <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's pearly. <laughs> the pearly gates. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, god! Oh. This show's gonna be held in, and I tell you. Oh, wow. That, that brings us to Paul's. <laughs> this is just as great. This is great. Okay. <laughs> Intelligence versus wisdom. <laughs> what is this, the d and character role? <laughs> Explain the difference. No, I think it's actually a good question. Yeah, yeah. Versus it is. Wisdom, because, I mean, and, and in Dungeons & Dragons, you right. do have to make that distinction. Mm -hmm. In Dungeons & Dragons, intelligence has to do with uh, your knowledge of specific things, and... Uh, no, I think you got it reversed. Oh, I got it reversed. Wisdom is your knowledge of, uh, like, street knowledge of things you know, and intelligence is figuring things out? Yes. Yeah. Being able to do something. <clears throat> Your, What's that um, saying that you've been educated beyond your intelligence? You know, so that that makes a distinction right there. That yeah, if wisdom right, is right. really what you want. Yeah, and t uh, there's a, there's the thought that intelligence well, is something that is more natural, well, and well, wisdom is gained. Well, intelligence is more cognitive process, right? Like right. your ability to make connections and execute things and see s solutions to puzzles and stuff like that, uh, and that's really what the basis of most IQ tests are. And then wisdom right. would be just rote knowledge. Like, if you're a walking in... No, no, I would say the opposite. Wisdom, wisdom would be like, you know, your, why? Being yeah. able to apply your intelligence. Yeah, that, I agree. For intelligence is, is, is having the information. Doing like, the, a computer would be intelligence before it would be wise. Well, see, the thing is, and also you got to look at, is the people who have these huge IQs, <laughs> they're really right not... Then. They really have not uh, become super successful. But I think what's most interesting is that Daryl thinks the complete opposite, and I, I I don't agree with him. Yeah, I don't agree either. Because you're wrong, Daryl. He might be from a different dimension where these are actually switched and everything else is the same. Because that's happened to me before. <laughs> where yeah, you and your other dimensions? Oh well, yeah, my other dimension where etc. was ECT period. Not now, I'm ECC having period. I'm having one of those Twilight Zone moments where you know elephant means emergency. Yeah, right. Or, yeah. Or, 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 like, what is or, yeah. Timmy when it touches dinosaur? <laughs> anyway, but no, I I, I think that uh, intelligence is something uh, of a more uh, simple level, uh, something that you can learn. Like if you're thinking about it in a math concept. Intelligence is the ability to apply the abstract problems just one to another. But if you get a word problem, you need wisdom to solve the word problem exactly. and apply it. That's that's the way I think of it too. What do that's you say, Paul? Problem. Since you brought up the finger majigger, uh, I think in, to me, intelligence is um, knowing how to do something. Like I know how to solve these math problems, how to do that and stuff. But wisdom is understanding why it works. Yeah, well, I think understanding, what, understanding and what you can. How it affects why why you do it yeah. why is yeah. dumb ah oh. oh. why is dumb yeah, that's what I just said <laughs> thank you for repeating <laughs> because just like Dexter told everyone <laughs> <laughs> but he don't 
We'll never know. It, you never know. Yeah, yeah I want to know. know. Okay, this is Kales. Who is the best movie monster? Ooh, good Ooh. one. Um, I like, uh, just for sheer size, Godzilla. Not so much in the... Uh, Which Godzilla? Not the, Well, the old ones are kind of cheesy, and the way we know effects... You know, I think the new Godzilla coming out looks pretty scary. But I've seen that. Maybe that's because we haven't really. Good. Maybe we haven't seen him yet, and that's why you really seen him. That's why he looks scary. I uh, think for me, the best movie monster is the Alien <clears throat> Queen Ooh, from Aliens. Yes, she is good. the best. Oh, most vicious. That's a good choice. I, I know. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll just say uh, Freddy because he everyone has to go to sleep. <laughs> At I, some point, so he can get in that, there. That is pretty scary, actually. And he could actually become the alien queen. Um, <laughs> yes. Daryl? Uh, I'm still pondering. Okay, I have one. And I haven't really seen the movie. And it's kind of a monster, but kind of... The guy from Phantasm. And that ball. And oh, specifically right. the ball. Because I feel like there's no way to get away from it. It can basically find you and get you no matter what. It's like some huge monstrous technology that's just made to kill. And it's not like it's going to be a bomb or something. It's going to like do something really nasty to you. It's like a Borg or something. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it will follow you. Like, how do you escape that? And that freaks me out. Like, if that existed, that would scare the hell out of me if it was targeted on me. And I don't know if that's so much a monster, but it scares me like a monster would. Like uh, something coming after me. Well, I think it qualifies as a monster. I mean, even, even monsters can be robots. I'd say Predator, but it's too ineffective at killing anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, he's a predator. Yeah. He's just ineffective killing things on Earth. I'm sure right, they do. Right. Well, actually, I haven't seen the new movie. Anybody see Predators? Yeah. Was uh, it? Did they do better in, on the planet? <laughs> no, no. No, they, they suck. And, so. and then they go into Alien versus Predator, and they yeah. lose to the aliens, of course. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. They are kind of ineffective for being. Okay, my, my yeah. um, I guess my favorite movie monster would be Adolf Hitler. <laughs> so, <you know. laughs> Yeah. List. Well, there he goes bringing up Hitler again, dude. I didn't bring him up. You know why not? <laughs> Whatever. Um, I think uh, smart monsters scare me more than dumb monsters. Do you ever True. get something? And that's that why wants... you chose Godzilla. <laughs> I chose Godzilla because it was the first monster that came to my mind. Oh, okay. It was big. I said, but big. now that he's thinking about yes, it. yes, mm -hmm. right. I'm not good off the... like corporations, <laughs> like OCP. <laughs> yeah, you know me. Um, I don't remember what I was saying now. Damn it! Ike Turner in um, <laughs> What's Love Got to Do with It? He was a monster. And then his wife, Tina, was in Beyond Thunderdome. Beyond Thunderdome, yeah. yeah. She was kind of a monster. <laughs> she was a hot monster. I'm always scared of monsters' balls. <laughs> monsters' balls? <laughs> Damn. Sully. All right. This is Kale's. Sully. Hey, here we go. Act out Arnold Schwarzenegger, oh, Mr. No. T. John Wayne, Mr. T. John Wayne, and Sean Connery teaching a sensitive seminar. Sensitivity. Gee, I wonder who Sean Connery All right. is going to be. Okay, oh, no. Sean Connery. All right, Arnold, I think, right? I'll do John Wayne. And you do John Wayne, so that leaves me. Mr. T. Oh no, are you want to do Mr. T? Yeah, he does good, Mr. T. I'll do Mr. T. Okay, I'll do I'll do Arnold. Well, okay. where, where where are we? We are Let's, we are teaching, we are teaching a sensitivity teaching. seminar. Oh, like. sensitivity <laughs> seminar. <laughs> so this is like uh, like at work if people are to, <laughs> right to to not be sex. Is it sexual or is it? Your mother's <laughs> sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk. All right. <laughs> we are you are here to learn how to be sensitive. I am the Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something about using that cop machine while rubbing up against a woman next to you getting the paper. <laughs> you don't want to use it. I want to know. When you're rubbing up against a woman to get that paper, fool, make sure it's your butt and not your penis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but I think I'll fruit. like to try it. Also, fool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Dar I didn't even hear you. What's that smell? <laughs> <laughs> it's your mother, Jeremy. I can't believe these two. When you feel uncomfortable because your co-worker is telling you about the period, <laughs> pee then, because fool. I don't think you should talk call about Call your HR department and get, and get your union rep on. Don't say you go to Mars. Don't go to Mars. It's Red Mars. No, don't say that. I need to put tampons in my ears to listen to this, bollocks. <laughs> I don't think we should glasses. talk about women's products mm. either. Hey, hey, cut that, Jibba Jabba. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. 
<laughs> Just because I'm showing a little bit of cleavage, it's taco meat. <laughs> Doesn't give you the right to call your union rep and make me go to these stupid seminars. I don't like this. I'll be back. Let's saddle up our horses and f our women because we're going to go die. I like horses. <laughs> Or, or I'm afraid you've lost gonna, the point of this being a sensitivity <laughs> meeting, you jackass. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, go, go suck it, you fool. <laughs> Why are you so mean? Get to the chopper! Hey, fool, I don't go on no airplane. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fly, fool. Get to the chopper! <laughs> you couldn't get past the TSA if you wrapped yourself in a yellow banana skin, you fool. I don't know. Pansy. No idea what that meant. Oh crap. It was racist. I think I saw the guy for California. Yeah. Never mind. Oh look, I'm normal again. Oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> that, that Sean Connery is a racist bastard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 okay, <what's> <laughs> I have swamped. I haven't that. had this much fun since I was in the Avengers. I was in the League of Avengers. I was the villain. <laughs> that was the and league. I wore a kilt. Are we extends in this yeah. or what? No. No, no fool! <laughs> Wait! I extend! Oh, shit. <laughs> Looks like Arnold went for a second turn! <laughs> Well, it's like somebody, <laughs> somebody grew an extra brain cell, decided to extend the segment. Why well, do you say balls that? It's a lot bigger. I want to say that it's not nice to be talking to me like that. I'm very smart. I know what I'm talking about. You need, that's what, uh, I agree with Arnold. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Um, <laughs> I don't understand anything <laughs> you're talking here. about. I'm afraid Mexico <laughs> has invaded Southern California. Because now Arnold That's not nice, goes, fool. Oh. Those are our friends from the south, fool. I come my from the southwest south. myself. Look, if you lift my kilt, you'll see my friends from the south. I <laughs> That's it. I'm calling my union rep because you make I'm me feel comfortable. I'm not looking up his kilt I'm at like, all. Come on, everybody, this is about sensitivity. We need to talk about sensitivity. <laughs> my balls are sensitive. I like your balls. As Wait, sensitivity. <laughs> I hey, look, it's Cheech and John. <laughs> hey, man, what's going on? Hey, man, I was wondering what you're doing, eh? Yeah, oh, we're here to help out with the sensitivity training, man. What's going on? Oh. Yeah, if you need to be less sensitive, just smoke some of this. <laughs> Dude, man, what's we like? Oh, no, man, I died from <laughs> lung cancer. I'm not smoking any. Fool, well, that's, that's too much just to quit. <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened there. I lost my. I'll, tell you, like, I'll tell you, Pilgrim. Don't tell you sound like Gail. Don't tell like Gail. Get out. See here, Joey Shamble. <laughs> no, you see here. <laughs> well, yeah, see here, Joey Shamble. That's better. <laughs> I'm going to turn over a new leaf, and I'm going to be nicer to all of you. I'm okay. starting with the moron over here. <laughs> and I'm hey, he pointed to, to me. This guy who thinks he's all tough, but he's actually just. The same actor and everything he does. I mean, what? You can't even change your voice for once? I can't even change my voice for once. Yo, that's what he said! No, yeah, that's well, what I said. Then you said that again! I'll tell you, Pilgrim. Fool! <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing my voice! I just do this all the time in Rutter State! I had to go now! You don't have to be I upset to be all the time. Mexico's I invading! Know. I want Germany to invade! <laughs> We're doing porn down no, here! Dude, aren't Gay you, porn! You're from Austria, German, man. Gay That's porn! Oh! Oh, shit! Big Kyle over here is going to have an aneurysm. Shice it on my face! In. Oh my god! German gay porn! I always watch German gay porn, fool. <laughs> well, I want to be sensitive, I club a seal. <laughs> I say, take that, you bastard! <laughs> now, your homework for the sensitivity training is to go home and be sensitive to your pussy or puppy if, <laughs> if you have one of those. I don't like cats. <laughs> Last don't time be a you, get son of a bitch. It's cool. Last time you saw a pussy was when you were born, you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we gotta move on. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
Oh, I'm gonna burp. I know. <laughs> Should I reset the timer? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, there we go. Three minutes. Oh. Paul would like to know what's your favorite seasonal item at fast food restaurants? <laughs> Ooh, seasonal. Oh, McRib, I, I, McRib, McRib. Yeah, McRib. Yeah. I want to say it's the shamrock shit because if you eat two of them in a row, you get the shamrock shits. <laughs> God. And everything turns green. I don't even know what seasonal yeah. items there are. I'm, I'm thinking Starbucks. Like, ooh, I want the like pumpkin. That spice. counts. That counts. Yeah. Okay, that's but good. But seriously, I had, a, I had one of them shamrock the shakes, latte. and the green stuff in it wasn't really. Stir it in, so I drink like the dye stuff. Uh, what? Dude, I shit green for a while. Hey, you know, ever since, ever since, um, this is off topic, but Captain Crunch, ever since they did the multicolored crunch berries, no. just take a look at your poop afterwards. <laughs> no way. It'll be green. Oh, is that what does it? Like, yeah, do that. I, I always eat it the day before St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> what, a, what a festive celebration in your hey, toilet. Wait, wait, don't pinch me, look. <laughs> it's a festive celebration in your toilet My on St. Patty's Day. <laughs> Okay, uh, what are we doing? I like vanilla. <laughs> I like uh, the vanilla or white chocolate covered uh, Oreos during Christmas. Oh, nice. Oh, dude, I have swamp ass everywhere. Me too. I have swamp that's balls. That's not a fast food <laughs> So are we it matter it to fast seasonal food. Sa- I got seasonal sauna anything. Sauna balls and uh, hot tub wee wee. Uh, I like the McRib. It's pretty good. Uh, what else? Kim likes the pumpkin spice latte thing, too. She really enjoys that. She likes my pumpkin spice I like, uh, whoa, <laughs> hey, whoa. Hey. I, I like your pumpkin um, loaf. So, <laughs> so <I'm> like, <laughs> like, some Mexican places like Gardenos, they make champorado during the mm. winter months, and it's yes. like this thing. Thick it's chocolate. made yeah, it's like thick chocolate with homily in it. And yeah, it's good stuff. I'm trying to think. Like I know there's got to be something else, but I can't homily? think of any. I like oh, the peppermint no, uh, shakes. Sure. They it's like at uh, Carl's Jr. Ha- they make the peppermint yeah. uh, okay, shakes right. for Christmas. I like those. Uh, um, if it becomes a seasonal hominy. thing, which I hope it will, hominy, hominy. the Frank's Hot uh, Buffalo Blue Butt Cheese Burger ranch. <laughs> Butt Ranch Burger at Carl Jr. Mm. If, it be, if it comes back again, totally awesome. There's that some good seasonal else? brews, too. Like, um... Mm. O- Oktoberfest. Uh, I can't think of a specific one though. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> For those wondering, I just tried to show. Well, yeah, I don't Kale's like, I don't like regular down my Sam shirt. Adams Boston Lager, but a lot of their seasonal ones, which I can't think of the specific names, they're pretty good. So, oh yeah, yeah. oh and then yeah. And there's there's Mountain oh, yeah. Chill. Do it country uh, cool. This year round. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, Coming how out. could I want forget ice? eggnog? Oh, oh yeah, oh, I, love, that, I love eggnog. That's kind yeah. of gross. The non-alcoholic it's, ones, so I don't have to throw my up my I, guts. It, that it's so be, bad for yeah. me because I can like, I can hardly make myself stop. Like yeah, whatever amount of egg. eggnog I buy, I'm gonna drink it that night. Wow. So I hope I just buy a quart at a time, you know, because it's like, it's crazy. Yeah, it's I can bad. drink a little bit of it, but. Not after too long. No. no. Yeah. All right, we have beaten to the final uh, one. It's all folded. Okay. This is me. And I'm spent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about this one. This was an old one. Movie reboots. Good idea or bad? That was me, I think. No, that was me. <clears throat> that was you? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Uh, I have a qualifier I got about of that. A 50-50 on that. I what's, got a qualifier of that. If it's been at least... 30 years since they made the movie, then oh. a reboot would be okay. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, so actually, about, some well, movies about, that are considered classics. But what about Batman? Um, so, yeah. yeah, Batman, Batman wasn't 30, 30 years. years. It was only about that was 89. 15. Yeah, it was only about 10, 15, I, I 93, 95. 95. It actually worked, though. But yeah, here's, yeah, here's, yeah, the one that worked, awesome. here's the one that worked the best, and I think there is they a reason. They rebooted uh, Spider-Man too quick, I think. Well, yeah. here's the thing, though. Hulk. Incredible Hulk reboot. Yeah. Pretty good. And was done well... But First of all, because Hulk sucked. That was a sequel. <laughs> yeah, Angley's yeah. Hulk sucked. Well, it was a sequel, but it yeah. wasn't. Because if you, it, it didn't start from the story from the beginning again. Right. But it was a reboot in the fact that it didn't go back to the story from the first No, movie. no. But it it, 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 uh, it tried. On the, it showed the first movie in like two minutes. No, it didn't show, but it wasn't the first movie. That that beginning credit scene is a whole new reimagining of the movie because the first movie was not like that at all. It was the basic story of Hulk redone mm-hmm. just as a remake. It wasn't from the first movie. So, my, so it wasn't a sequel. My take on it, whether it doesn't... I, I like the idea of having a certain amount of time. Like It seems like sometimes it is too quick. Spider-Man was too quick, even though the but new one's good. I think sometimes it depends on how much they want to like change the story. Um, and then also the quality of the various movies. Like If it's like an incontrovertible classic like RoboCop, 
Okay, maybe it is controversial. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, like, yeah. why remake that? Because it's already so good and stands on its own. Right. And especially as a PG-13 remake, it doesn't make sense to me. So I, I look at the quality of each thing. However, I look at something like The Thing, and the, like, 1984 remake is just outstanding. It is, yeah. yeah. That and, what, it's, it is better, definitely. Yeah. Star right. Trek. The new, the new Star Trek. They did it, I, you know, I think they did an excellent job on that because they attached it to the original but still made it new. And yeah. it was well done. It was good. So yeah. that was a, that was a very good way of looking mm -hmm. at it. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, and one of the most the successful, reboot, I guess no, you'd no. say, reboots <laughs> is where Cecil B. DeMille actually remade his Ten Commandments with Charlton Heston. Most people now don't even know about his first right. uh, Ten Commandments, which was a really good... Yeah, blockbuster right, right. and it was good but it was black and white and then they remade it with Charlton Heston you know what I think oh, wait, sometimes awesome I, Evil Dead 2 yeah much yeah. better than Evil Dead yeah, no, no. and it was really a reboot of Evil Dead here's the thing yeah, I, I'm almost offended when a movie doesn't change anything like when there was the Psycho remake and it was just like a shot for shot remake I didn't even want to see it oh I remember that I still that. haven't yeah. seen it look at the old horror movies I mean they were the same thing yeah. I'm, I'm gonna extend that. this is my yeah. extend yeah. Um, the other, the other thing I about think it, used like three extends. What me? I did a pass. That was it. All right, all right. Yeah, that was Dick Cheney you over here, ladies mine, and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> you dick. <laughs> That's the um, <laughs> <laughs> Well, the Superman. The thing is, um, I I kind of appreciate it when they cared to change the title because sometimes someone wants to redo uh, someone's work. Uh, like, I can think of I Am Legend as an example. Like, when it was first made into a movie, it was called The Last Man on Earth. Then in the 70s, it was The Omega Man. And then the more recent I Am Legend came out, which shared the title of the original work. But I at least think, like, okay, all three of those movies are technically remakes because they're all based on the same source material. But all three of them took the source material in different directions. So mm -hmm. I kind of see them as, like, three separate things or three reinterpretations of the original right. work. Which is kind of and cool I appreciate in a way. Uh, especially the last two Omega Man with Charlton Heston once again awesome and uh, <laughs> then with Will Smith mm -hmm. I Am Legend uh, to excellent too the Total yeah. Recall remake was while not a fantastic movie was kind of the same thing totally different direction with the basic same idea and also based on a story mm -hmm. by, um, but they didn't face? like they didn't do the whole Mars thing at all <laughs> so it's all, it is a very separate movie but they still pay homage to it in, in that one it's a very good action movie yeah. so, some reboots just seem like. You know why? Why are you doing this? It's like money. Uh, it's money. Yeah, yeah. Well, because you see these blockbusters, like or even like reboots, or maybe it's not so much reboot. Like when they do a TV show or something, like Dukes of Hazard or something that came out. It's yeah. like that didn't work for me. Right. It's... But something like the A Team, I thought was awesome. <laughs> the oh, Dukes of Hazard never worked movie? for me to it begin was with. You didn't even really know. You didn't know the A Team. Yeah. You didn't even know the, the show to watch yeah. that. That was the A Team movie was really well done. And I think sometimes when things are too divergent, though, it, it doesn't even make sense to keep the name sometimes. It's like, why did they choose to call this uh, whatever? Like, in, in, in a way, I can even say that about, like, the G.I. <coughs> Joe movie. Like, it's so different from all the existing G.I. Joe stuff before it that it doesn't really feel G.I. Joe-ish. However, it was pretty good. Yeah. As its own little yeah. kind of silly That's action true. film. Second yeah. one wasn't... Mm. I never saw this. Um, but yeah, interesting. What I've read, I haven't seen the new Evil Dead reboot, but apparently it's not exactly a reboot because what they're planning is because uh, they got Evil Dead, Evil Dead Two, Army of Darkness. Then they just did Evil Dead. They, they're going to do one more movie in the Evil Dead, like Evil Dead Two from that reboot. Then they're supposedly going to bring back Bruce Campbell and do something else, and then they're going to bring the both worlds together somehow. Oh, wow. That's kind of what Sam Raimi wants to do. So huh. now I kind of want to see the new Evil Dead and see what they did with it to see because right. so it's supposed to be part of the right, Evil Dead world. But it's supposed to be really just horror. But yeah. they're yeah. gonna connect it somehow. They said so. Okay. Huh. And apparently there's yeah. a there's something at the end of this Evil Dead. There's I, a they're cameo with, with the book. They're, they're, they're connecting the, the, it through the, the book. Through the oh, book, probably okay. the, the the whatever it's called. Yeah. This is kind of related to something though that I Necronomicon. I, and I think uh, Bruce Campbell does a cameo at, oh, really? after the end credits of the Evil Dead. I've cool. dubbed uh, something in society called the Cult of the New. It's basically like if it's new, it's the better new? than everything before. Oh, the Cult. So of like, the new. so the thing is like that. That's what appeals. Like you can't necessarily re-release oh. RoboCop and say, oh, now all the kids are going to go see it, right? Um, now what it is is like, oh, we can remake it, and now a whole new generation is going to be open to experiencing it in this new form. But then again, it's like this theory that seems like everyone has that if it's new, it's better. I mean, when you're talking technology, that's usually yeah. true. But when you're talking yeah, about works of art, that may be for the kids and not stuff. Necessarily. No, I, mean, I think the older, 
like our generation, you know, older, maybe every generation will have. We see those movies in the past, the original RoboCop, as it's a classic. It's like, yeah. how could you beat that? And right. and how we felt watching that, and what it, how new it was at the time, can't beat what the, the the new one that's out now can't beat that feeling. For crying out loud, movie makers, let's use real squibs and not CGI blood splatter, please. <clears throat> God. Especially when it doesn't look real. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. When you Walking can tell that, that it's CGI, sometimes. that's when it's not funny. Hey. Oh, we were on the last round, so it didn't ding. Ding! No wonder why that <laughs> felt long. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. 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 Who wants to be my uh, random rambling bitch? Was that the what? last one? <laughs> I'll be your bitch. Okay, put that on. That was the last one. Okay, Paul, you were going to be my random rambling bitch. He's putting on the KFC and... <laughs> Yeah, that works. <laughs> and wait, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, Eddie, ready? And random rambling. Paul is my random rambling bitch. Uh, 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 uh. Um, I'm uncomfortable. Anyway, thanks for joining us on well, uh, this episode of Random Rambling. You did say it was long. A buckethead. <laughs> True. <laughs> buckethead. Ready? Go. Wait. No. no buckethead. Okay. Buckethead's like. Go Buckethead. Buckethead was raised by chickens. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know that Welcome is. to Buckethead Land. <laughs> Buckethead Land? <laughs> yeah, that's another sensor. Here, put it on. <laughs> We're up to like 10 Here. now. What's that? You want me to shoot a video of you? Hold it. Oh, no. It's, he's got green. <laughs> Okay, this does not make for good, entertaining radio. <laughs> oh, wait, we're still on! That's right. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, everybody. This is Joey Sharrow. about that. And Paul Huntinger. <laughs> Earl Anderson. And Daryl George. And I'm, cho I'm the choosing next week, choice for next week. Oh, yeah. And where can what we find we ourselves? Uh, I am rambling.com. Yeah. If you, if I'll you're playing right with myself everywhere. Yeah, okay. Uh, next week is my choice, and we are going to do superheroes. We're going to talk about the Ooh. fiction of superheroes, why they become popular, as well as possibility of real superheroes. And I want to find Jean Grey and do her. Okay. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye! Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening. You can now stop screaming at the open air. Listeners should put their minds back in their upright positions and resume traditional thinking. Find us on IamRambling.com for access to all of our weekly ramblings, show notes, general discussions, and any projects from Incoherent Ramblings. Like us on Facebook and rate us on iTunes. So long, and thanks for all the fish.